Hey everybody, it's Rob from Backlass, the Sticker Man on Etsy. I'm here to show you uh, a removal and application of vinyl decal to the uh, iPod Touch. Uh, this is, I believe, third generation. Um, I'm making some sweet decals on my shop and selling them. I just put this one on here, and I'm about to take it off. So I just wanted to show how the uh, removal of the decals go. You just uh, pretty much pick out a corner whenever you're ready to remove it. And then you just peel it off. Um, this one was just put on a little while ago, so it's not going to leave a lot of residue. comes off really clean. I, I cleaned up my uh, iPod pretty good before I put this on. And uh, it comes off. Um, usually not this good, but once you take it off, you have to uh, dispose of it. And uh, if there's any residue on there, you can clean it off with some rubbing alcohol and a paper towel. And just uh, get it really good. You might need a lot of rubbing alcohol, but just uh, keep wiping it and it'll uh, come off real clean. Um, now what I'm going to do is, is put another decal on here. Uh, I think I'm going to put my zombie princess on. Um, but real quick, I'm just going to give this a quick wipe with rubbing alcohol. Get that all clean there. Alright, and then uh, I got a couple decals, but here's the, uh, the zombie princess, and I'm going to peel it off its liner. Uh, just like, you know, any other sticker. Um, and then I'm just going to hover it over the iPad, uh, iPod. And uh, I'm going to start it at one end and work towards the other. I'll start at the top here. And I'll just tack it down with my thumb. And then I'll just make a straight line across the top and get decal down there nice and clean. And then I'll lift it up. This is called the hinge method. Um, I'll just start at the top. And with my finger, I'll just work back and forth, laying down a little bit of the decal at it, a little bit more and more at a time. Uh, using my other hand to just kind of hold it up, not letting it tack down too early. If it does, I can just pull it back up, and uh, I'll slowly just lay the decal down. There might be a couple bubbles under there, but hopefully nothing too bad. Then you just kind of work around the edges to just get it down nice and even. Now the, the vinyl contour is pretty good to uh, simple curves, but once you get to the corners, it does get a little bit tricky, a little bit bunched up, but you could just work it out with your fingers, and you're good to go. You know, you could even um, take a little bit more rubbing alcohol or, you know, water or whatever just to wipe it down. And look at that. Good to go. And you can get these on my shop, stickerman.etsy.com. And uh, also on my eBay store, stores.ebay.com backslash backglass. Check it out. Not bad. Six bucks for a decal. Can't beat that.